Did you like it though? Did you double time? How you felt felt about that uh, Winston situation? Ooh, that was spicy. That <laughs> was spicy. That was interesting. I think it's safe to say that Jameis Winston will not be a New Orleans Saint next year <laughs> because they kept Dennis Allen, bro, and they kept Dennis Allen. That tells me that they they sided with him. So I feel like Jameis is he, he's gonna have to go somewhere else. Mm, 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 mm. He loves the city, though, so I'm sure he himself would want to come back, but I just think it'd be too awkward. It would be really wild as if he ends up in Atlanta after doing that. That'd be really funny. <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> that would be. <laughs> so We'll see where he goes. I think he lands somewhere, but, I mean, I like Jameis. I wish he'd return, but I, I just I think it'd be too awkward. It's like if, you, if you're going to keep goofy Dennis Allen, then you just – it's you got to – you gotta you to me you had to pick one and they didn't pick Jameis, so he's wishing the best wherever he lands. Yeah. Um playoff talk. Um who 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 you got going to the Super Bowl? What two teams you got going to the Super Bowl? Man, I gotta stick with my preseason prediction, man. 49ers Ravens. I, I'm I was my preseason pick. They got the one seeds, they're both rolling right now. You know, I think the Ravens. They keep that thing ugly and low score, and I think they get to Mahomes, unlike the, the stupid Bills who always forget the, that you got to play defense to win playoff games. Everyone wants to rag <laughs> on Josh Allen, but it's their freaking defense. Josh Allen did more than enough to win that game. Their defense was garbage, though. So I think the Ravens, they're going to give Mahomes trouble because Mahomes, is, he's great, I get it, but he doesn't have the weaponry. And I think the way Lamar's playing right now, I think the Ravens find a way to get that thing done. And in the Niners, man, let's be real. If they were going to slip up, it was going to be last week. The fact that they escaped that, I think they're going to come out firing this week. Kyle Shanahan is going to be on their ass. He's going to have them ready to go. I think they were rusty, you know, coming off the – they basically had two bye weeks since they, they didn't have to play their starters in week 18. So I think they're going to get in rhythm. And, I mean, I'll be rooting for Detroit. I mean, how could you not root for Detroit? I mean, they're the people's team right now. You know, Dan Campbell's fun to root for. But I just don't think they have the horses to compete with San Francisco. They do have a strong offense. I'll give them that. But to me, their defense isn't going to be able to quite get it done. Unless they can force Purdy into a lot of mistakes, which is even like the Packers were, were forcing him into some mistakes. So I think that I think it could end up. Kind of similar to last week and that Detroit keeps it interesting for a while, but I think at the end of the day, the 49ers prevail and it'll set up for, as I say, the script because the Super Bowl logo this year has the red and purple. So they're going to like, the script, it was all scripted. <laughs> 49ers, Ravens, look at the colors. <laughs> yeah, um, my homes are going to have to play. <laughs> oh, if he can do oh. this, if he can win, if he can beat that Ravens defense, bro, I might just have to be like, Mahomes <laughs> is the GOAT. Like, he's the GOAT. Like, what can he say? I mean, people already be crowded this man the GOAT. Uh, That's what I'm you know, saying. I mean, you got to be in the league at least 10 years before you can be the GOAT. But if he beats Baltimore Sunday, I might have to join the crowd because that would be impressive. Because the Ravens did start off slow that game. So we'll, we'll see how that go. Um, I don't know. I guess I got the same thing. Um, I'm. I don't like how people be um on the balls of Purdy. I think Purdy is overrated because I remember Garoppolo putting up all kind of great statistics too when he was in that system. Now everybody want to give Purdy all these props, knowing if Purdy went to another team, he'll he'll be holding the clipboard right now, you know. But it is what it is. Um. So I, I did hear you say you 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 stuck it to hustler. You 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 beat him in his league, thirty two man league. You beat um damn, what's the dude he always doing a lot with? Oh yeah, Bogart. Shout out to Bogart Scott Free at the GMM Network. Yeah, you beat you beat him too, right? Yeah, he was in that joint. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have a we have a good deal going. Yeah, we have our there's some dynasties and redrafts. Yeah, that's a, the four twenty crew, man. Shout out to them. <laughs> yeah, I never. Uh, well, I played in a league with um uh, hustler because he always run best ball leagues and stuff like that. But yeah. I never got to play with Bogart. I know they love oh, Bogart's that. a savage. He gets down. He, we do hundred dollar joints and stuff. <laughs> yeah, and they, I, I know they love that. Um. What is the IDP? I'm not. Yeah, yeah, they love the IDP. I've gotten to where I like it. 
you know, I, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm in love with it, but I, I, I like it. You know, I usually just, the IDP leagues I do do are with them. Most of my leagues I run are still offense only. Yeah, because I play in a couple IDP leagues, but we only have to start like one or two players. And I'd be like, I'm fine with that. But, you know, some people be trying to make it look like a, a league. <laughs> yeah, like the real NFL. You yeah, I'm like, like oh, nah, nah, I don't want that. I yeah, they're going to try to put offensive linemen in there. It's like, come on, man. You got to draw the line somewhere. <laughs> you know, I, I, I ain't feeling all of that. But I say, you know, I'm going to have to I, – I know I run a redraft league, but I, it'd be hard to get people to – well, I get I get regular people to join. Like, I always could grab people from Facebook. But, you know, uh, when it comes to my uh, my people, I know in the fantasy community, they, they love that sleeper, you know, in my own yeah. um, – and my redraft league I run is still on Yahoo. I like Yahoo because they got the whole rating system. So and and it's just simple to run. Um, and for some reason, sleeper is I don't I don't when I, since I'm in a lot of leagues, I, I um I use the Fantasy Pros app where they can just automatically switch my players as injured out. Oh, okay. It, it's not compatible with sleeper. Oh, okay. So that's why that's one of the reasons I'm not a fan of sleeper because I actually got to go and do work for sleeper. Sleeper, I got to stay on my game with sleeper. Got to go check the lineups where I know on my other leagues it's gonna automatically get switched out if a player is injured. It's gonna automatically switched out, and I don't. That's my probably probably my big deal with sleeper. I don't like. But, I hear you. Yeah, I know, I've never I have to look into that because yeah, I still play some. ESPN leagues. Most of mine have gotten converted to sleeper. I never was that big with Yahoo. I played a few. I mainly did fantasy baseball on Yahoo. Mm. Never really did much fantasy football on there. I mean, I've done it before, but you know, I never. I, I kind of like their setup. You know, I had nothing against them, but it was like a lot of my people I knew want they liked ESPN and they didn't want to switch kind of thing. So still have a few dinosaur home leagues on ESPN, but I, uh, most of mine are on sleeper. <laughs> my home league's still on ESPN too. I mean yeah ESPN. I do like how it does the league history. I I, I like how it does that. And, and, but they didn't have that at first. They just started that a few years ago. Like they didn't have a league history. Yeah like Yahoo always had a league history. They've always had a rating system. So you know the the higher rating on on games that you won, or your rate, rate your rating goes up. You know, like mm -hmm. so they've always had that little stuff. You know, and so that's why I, I, I wish Sleeper. You know, and, and and who knows if I email Sleeper, they probably will work on it because Sleeper just that kind of website that you know they try to stay ahead of the game. I respect mm -hmm. the hell out of Sleeper. Like yeah, said, yeah, for sure. I fuck with their site. Yeah. <laughs> Only thing I'm missing from Sleeper because uh, is because at first. They sucked on desktop. They fixed that. Yeah, they're better um, on desktop now. Yep. Yeah. Um, I just need them to get coordinated with Fantasy Pros. So when I have a lot of league on Sleeper, it can just automatically take out the players that's out, and I don't got to go league to league because going league to league sucks ass on Sleeper. <laughs> oh yeah that was me this year yeah i was like i had to do the sweep waiver every tuesday the waivers the sweep you know i was like god damn it feels like a freaking second job or something which i mean it's fun but after a while it just gets a little monotonous yeah and and that's and hey, that's the grind of the season when you be in a lot of leagues it start turning into a grind after a while and you're just trying to make it through you know Facts. And, 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 <laughs> and even though you know you you have fun for you have fun, like I get a breather when the playoffs start. I'm like, ha, ah, all right, I'm not. Yeah. It's not that many leagues, you know. I, all right, yeah. You didn't cut down some. All right, I'm in. All right, I was in 40 leagues. I'm in 25 playoffs. All right, we breathe a little. <laughs> facts, facts. And then when the off season coming, like ah, now now I just now I just get to move slow. I I can make content when I want. Yeah, evaluate these rookies. Yeah, or... evaluate the rookies in my own time. I love it. Now nah, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you're a real DJ like me and Bogart and Huss, we do the playoff leagues. I I just yeah, I, I never <laughs> did the playoff league, but I, I jumped in the FFPC playoff challenge. But okay. I, didn't, I never did the playoff league. Yeah, like, we got two looked, playoff leagues going right now. Well, I had a bunch of bills and one with Bogarts. So I'm about 
cooked in that one because it's like I lost all a lot of my top picks. You know, I had Josh Allen anchoring it. It was a super flex. So, <laughs> you know, some though, but the hustler one's going good. I had my Holmes and Kelsey stack. So that one's that one's looking promising. I'm in first right now there. That's what's up. So. But yeah, man, it's uh, yeah, was, yeah. I think I did the playoff challenge thing a few years back. It, it was okay. It's just like it's just against like it's kind of like DFS though, where it's like you against like thousands of other people. I think. Yeah, and there's some serious people. <laughs> yeah, that's why I think that's why I never really got down with DFS too much because I was just like, man, it's just so many people, you know. Or I with the reg, I like you know, it's it's twelve people. It's like, well, even if everyone knows what they're doing, it's like it, it's. I just like I just feel like it's more fun to have a smaller community as opposed to having to try to have the you know and then you're like oh I gotta set like ten lineups to try to better my odds and all that it's like I don't know it gets yeah. it gets to be too much work at that point to me <laughs> yeah I probably try it next year then like the um I guess the playoff league I, I and you know I I was just looking at different posts and I was like should I jump in that I was like I was so burnt out <laughs> with the regular yeah. season yeah that I was yeah, like yeah. Ah. Because I, I did, you know, I, I I lost some heartbreakers, man. Yeah, same. heartbreakers in the in the uh, playoffs, and I was just like, ah, <laughs> I ain't want to yeah. be bothered no more. Facts, bro, facts. <laughs> but man, I ain't gonna hold you good, um, hold you any longer, man. It was good um, talking to you, man. Um, let the people know where they can find you at. I know you be on the Hustlers channel, channel all the time, live screaming so let let them know where they can find you at for sure yeah i mentioned earlier about uh, nola.com and then of course uh, all social media spence the guru but yeah guru nation power hour over on the hustler channel as well as my youtube channel so we've been going live on wednesdays you know go been doing that on wednesdays might be bringing back the real fantasy playmaker soon as well with bogart and the crew so yeah it's uh we're, we're keeping it lit over there you know it's been been a good grind. It was a fun season, and excited to see what 2024 brings us. <laughs> All right, my brother. Keep. I'll talk to you later, man. Yeah, sounds good, Terrence. Thanks for having me, man. All right, no problem. Peace. Yeah.